So hi everyone, this is Jessica here from the Achievement Squad, coming at you with a 100% walkthrough for the indie title, Horror Tales The Wine. So from this point onwards there is a full spoiler warning in effect because we show you all cutscenes and all of this kind of stuff as you're playing through the game. Um, yeah, it's a spoiler warning in effect from this point onwards. So a big thank you to Carlos Coronado for providing us early access to the game. Um, it was a real pleasure to play this one. It's probably one of my favorite indie titles of the year so far. Uh, what I find about it is quite nice is the actual graphics are very high quality. It's good resolutions. The, the, the graphics all look around are very good. Um, there is a backstory to the game. I won't reveal too much as I'm going through, but um, I'd recommend that you take the time to go out reading all of the different documents that you find dotted around the area. Um, but the story itself is actually quite good. Now, before we get started, I recommend that you go into the accessibility part. Um, I kind of crank up the gamma a little bit because I am hunting for collectibles and it gets a little bit dark. You don't have to do this though. Um, but what I'd recommend is that you'd switch on photo mode. Uh, now, photo mode may or may not, depending on your platform, unlock after your second playthrough, but it was available for me in the beginning. So let's get this show on the road. Okay, so we are in chapter one, and this one is called The Tasting. You're pretty much spawning on a dock, and you'll be able to walk forward. Now, pressing the left bumper is going to enable you to run. We want to make our way forwards and go up the stairs that are just behind the wooden planks. Uh, and we want to keep making our way up to the top. So keep pressing on up the stairs. When you get to the top of the stairs, you're going to want to take a right, and you're going to find even more stairs. Uh, but keep pushing up, and you'll come across some boats. At the boats you want to take a right and then you want to take a left and go around and you want to keep walking forward up even more stairs uh, and as you kind of come to this particular section here you'll want to take a left and you want to press the left trigger to crouch under the garage door once you've done that make your way over to the door and press b or circle to open the door up and then you want to make your way up stairs once you're upstairs take a left and you want to walk across these uh, wooden planks drop down and open the drawer that's in front of you and you're going to find a key. Pick this one up by pressing B. Turn around and walk up the wooden planks behind you. Press left trigger to crouch again and drop through the window. Go back through the door you just entered and you want to open the door that is in front of you. Exit out of here. Take a left and we're going to follow this path forward. So you want to follow this path until the end until you reach some planks and to remove those planks you want to press B on the one that's in front of you, pick it up and then drop it. Remove all three and then you want to crouch under the wood that's in front of you. Once you've done that you want to run across to the other side, go past the cart and you want to go through the archway ahead of you. And then you want to follow this around until you drop down into the next area. Now in this next area we're going to be looking at some pink pieces of paper. These are clues to opening a door later, so pick this one up. I recommend that you grab a snapshot of the images that are on the pink uh, piece of paper because you'll need to memorize them for later to open the door. I'm repeating myself here. So that's one, and then you want to make your way up to the top of the stairs, and you want to make your way to the far right of the building just here, and under the last archway, you're going to find your next uh puzzle clue, the, door, the clue for the door, uh, you want to grab that one and you want to take note of what the images actually are on here. Once you've done that you want to turn around and you want to make your way back to where you entered the area. So go down the stairs and we're going to get our very first collectible which is completely very well hidden. So next to where you come in you want to hop up onto the wall and then you want to hop up onto the fence. You want to walk to the end and if you look down you'll see this little thing just kind of glowing behind the bush. 
drop down and you want to pick that one up and it is a cat photo. This is going to bag you your first collectible achievement for the game. You'll notice a running theme with all the collectibles as you're going through this as well. Uh, I think Carlos likes cats. From here you want to hop up and you want to look down and you want to drop on the ledge in front of you and you want to crouch through the hole just here. Once you've gone through the hole take a right and then you want to follow this wall around and you're going to go find your next clue for the door. So take note of the images on the pink paper. Okay, now from that pink paper, we're going to do a little bit of a backtrack, but we needed to know this one to open up the door later. I'm not sure if these puzzles are randomized, but I recommend taking note. As you come around to this area, you want to crouch through the gap that's in the wall on the right hand side. In the far left corner, you want to move the two boxes out of the way. Uh, you'll notice that they have the consistency of water and they'll break. Crouch down through the little gap that you've just revealed and we want to crawl through the tunnel that is just ahead of us. Uh, and as you come through here, you're going to see a hole in the floor. Drop down. And as you do this, you want to pull the switch that is directly in front of you. Hold B to do this. Now once that door is open, you want to make your way forward and you're going to head down the stairs. Uh, and as you come down the stairs, you're going to see a flickering light ahead of you. But you need to run and jump across to this flickering light. We're now going to get our next collectible, which is crazy, crazy hidden. So as you come into this area, you're going to take a left. And ahead of you, you're going to see these wooden planks. Now press the back button and you're going to switch into photo mode. Once you're in photo mode, move your camera forward and then exit photo mode by holding the back button and the wall is going to have disappeared and you can grab your next collectible. This will also get your next achievement and trophy at the same time. And then from here we're going to need to backtrack into the room that we just came from. So as you come back into this area, look to the left and you want to drop down below. You're going to take some full damage but you won't die. But you want to pull the planks off that are in the top right hand corner of this room. Once you've removed the planks, you want to find a suitable crate. The one I pick up, as you'll come to notice, is not suitable at all. It's the red one in the back of the room that you want to actually use. So pick that up and you want to drop it over by the hole that you've just opened up. Press A to jump up on top of the box and then you want to hop through the hole that is just ahead of you. You want to cross over the wine rack and you want to make your way to this top left hand corner and it's going to drop you down to the floor below. Once you've done that, we need to proceed through this corridor. And as you go through this corridor, you're going to see a new set of kind of symbols on uh, blue paper. Now don't take note of these just yet, the ones just here. We might as well just continue forward. As you come around here, you're going to get a bit of a jump scare. Back away from the guy. This guy is going to become your friend. Get to know him. Uh, now as you press through here, you want to take a left. And you're going to come into the area which is called one of the Red Sea areas. You want to drop down to the snowy ledge below you. You will want to walk across the plank that's just in front and you want to keep going and cross the other side. You might have to move some of the crates and stuff out of your way just to be safe. Jump over to the left. The plank will fall so don't run across it. Jump to the next island. Uh, move the barrels and stuff out of the way if you need to. You want to walk up towards the stone walls that are in front of you and you want to make a jump across to the icy ledge just ahead. Now as you come into here you're going to see on your right hand side two um, blue posters which are going to have two symbols on. You need to either grab a photograph or memorize these because you'll need them to open up a door in a moment's time. Once you've got those noted down you want to turn to the right and we're going to backtrack but things are going to be a bit different. Now you'll notice things are back to normal. It kind of reminds me of the um, layers of fear a little bit here. You want to make your way down to the corridor and as you come down to this end you want to take a left. Look at the next uh, blue poster on the wall and take note of the symbols that you'll find here. You'll then want to turn around from this uh, poster and we're going to backtrack and we want to take the next left. This is the only one. Uh, and just by the door here you're going to see another blue poster. Now for this part you need to remember the symbols that you've just found. Um, it's in relation to the poster on the right you'll see that you've got to have the top symbol and it's got to have a matching bottom symbol underneath it. So you'll need to rotate these dials at the bottom so it aligns with the previous blue pictures that you've seen. So to do that walk close to them, press the B button and make sure everything matches up. 
Now I'm not sure if these puzzles are completely randomized, um, but like I said previously, it's worth just taking note of what you've seen. You might have the same thing as me. Um, you'll notice I also get the puzzle wrong here uh, because I wasn't paying attention. I go about fixing it now, but my second set of symbols are wrong. Um, but yeah, but this could be different to yours. I'm not entirely sure, but let me know in the comment section below if it does differ for you. Once you've entered the code, hold the B button and that's gonna open up that door. And then you're going to want to make your way up the stairs. And as you're doing this, you're going to bag yourself an achievement at the same time. And that is for completing the uh, um, the area which is full of the kind of like the Red Sea or the Sea of Wine, as they call it. Uh, and you want to keep following this passage along and you want to keep pressing forward as you're going up the stairs. And you're going to enter this very large room just here. OK, so next room is going to be a bit of a balancing act puzzle. Drop down to the first floor and you're going to see this large plank of wood in front of you. You want to make your way to the end and as you make your way to the end it's going to drop down. As you do that you want to grab a brick off the floor and you want to place it on the end. We need to find a second one, but just turn around and in the recess you're going to find a second brick. Pick this one up and you want to place it on the end. These two will act as a counterweight for you. So now that you've got it in, you'll want to hop on to the planks again, but you'll be able to walk up the other side this time. It's going to stay raised and you want to look to your left and hop on over. Now as this is coming to this section, you need to be careful you don't fall. So you want to run and jump to the other side. Um, I had a dodgy cut because the floor gave way beneath me. Make your way along this wooden railing that's kind of poking out the side, crouch under the gap, and you just want to keep moving forward. Take a right as you enter this area. And we're going to get a bit interesting now um, as you're going to meet your headless friend again. So for this section, we need to think on our feet. You'll need to use the run button a lot. I recommend tapping the left bumper because it actually does preserve a little bit more energy. So start making your way to the end and he's going to appear. Turn around and you want to run back and you want to make your way around the pillars that are just in front of you. Let him get a bit closer just so you can buy yourself some more time. He's fast, but not that fast. Uh, and you want to sprint to the other end. Now as you get down to the other end, you're going to find a switch just ahead of you. You want to hold B to open up the door that's in front. We want to do this as quickly as possible. Um, you actually keep getting shocked from what I remember. Um, so don't do it too much. But once you actually have, once it's all done, if you're shocked, um, the guy is going to disappear. The wall is going to close behind you. You just kind of need to keep spinning around and eventually the way will open up again. Once it's open, you want to make your way forward and you want to take a right. And as you enter this area, you want to take the stairs all the way to the very top of the tower. And when you make it to the top, just drop down into the middle, or drop down by two ledges. You take to the right and you want to actually pull the um, plank that is off the gate and open it up here. Now we're going to be at a bit of a timer here. So we're back at the area with the cart that we walked past earlier. The objective is to use the cart to get to the other side, but to get on top of the cart, we need to run behind the tower that I'm showing you now and up these stairs, and we've got to jump on top of it from the top of those stairs. So to do this, make your way over to the cart. When you pull the lever, it's going to start moving and you need to start running. Like I said, tapping the old bumper, uh, left bumper helps here. Make your way around to the stairs to the left hand side of the tower. Go up the stairs and once you're at the top, you'll see that the cart's underneath you. You need to drop down and then look to your left ever so slightly and you want to jump to that ledge there. Now, if this goes wrong, you just pull the switch on the cart and it will go back again uh, and you'll need to just kind of redo this section. Make your way up the stairs and you want to pull the lever that's at the top and we're going to go into a maze. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do with this maze, we want to take a right immediately when we come in. Um, any classic horror game, a maze is brilliant. So start off by taking right and as you come to this right, we want to go left twice. We would then want to follow the pathway ever so slightly to the right. Take a left and then another right. Walk all the way to the end and as you come round, you want to take one more right and you're going to be by a tree. From this tree, you want to exit straight across and we're going to take a right immediately. Left again and we want to continue straight forward. 
and then we want to go to the left, the right, and then the right. Take a left and you're going to go around the edge looking out to sea. And as you come up in this section, we want to take the second left that's available to us. Go right, continue forward, and we want to take the first left. And as you come into this section, we will want to take a right. Make your way down to the end and we're going to go to the left. Take a immediate right and turn all the way around and you'll see a gate in front of you. Ignore the gate and take a right and then you want to enter the room that is just here. Once you're in the house, you want to take a left and you're going to enter the first door that you can on the right. We're going to grab our next cat collectible. So open up the door and we're going to want to switch into photo mode by holding the back button. And then you want to drive the camera through the wall that's in front of you and then exit out and the wall will be gone. Grab yourself the next cat photograph. And then we're going to now find a special bottle of wine once you've bagged yourself the achievement for finding another cat photo. So about turn and exit out of the room and you want to jump through the hole on the left. You're going to come out onto these balconies. Now you want to look to your left and you're going to want to hop from balcony to balcony and you get to the last one and you'll see a bottle of wine propped up on the end. Pick this one up and you want to spin it around until you hear a guy talk. And that will get yourself the achievement. I don't know what the guy says but somebody let me know in the comment section below. Hop across the balconies and then we're going to want to flick the switch that is just by the wooden panel here. Once that's down you want to jump up and you want to cross over to the other side. Head through the archway and as you come around on your right hand side you're going to find your next uh, pink poster clue. So take note of the diagrams that are on this one. And then you want to make your way out onto the actual balcony and you're going to find another. Take note of the actual symbols on this piece of paper. And once you've done that you want to make your way over to this door just here. Uh, and now like earlier you need to match the pink photographs that you've, sorry the pink posters that you found along the way. Uh, and make sure that the symbols along the bottom align to the images that you've looked at. Again, this might not be the same for you, but enter this code into the door. So once you've entered all the correct symbols into the right place, look to your right and you're going to see a lever. You'll want to pull this lever and it is going to open up the gate. Behind this door, as it, after it's opened, there's a second lever. Pull it, walk forward and you are going to complete the level. Okay, so we are now in chapter two, the pairing. Um, so to kick this one off, we need to walk forward. Look at the drawer just here, but don't open it. We want to crouch down and we want to walk forward to the piece of funky looking wood that's on the wall. And as you bop into it, it is going to fall to the ground. Drop through here and you want to make your way down the stairs. And you want to go straight ahead to the stairs across and you want to move the barrel out of the way. Once you've done that, you want to duck through the hole and in this room you're going to see a hole in the floor you'll want to get into this one and crouch down by pressing the left trigger now once you're under the floorboards you just want to keep walking forward until you get the opportunity to stand up Once you're in this area, um, you actually want to look to the ground. Um, you'll be in the dining room, but you won't be able to access it properly. 
you want to pull the switch that's on the floor that's going to open up the wooden grate that's in front of you come into this bit take a left and then a right and come out of the ground and you're going to use the furniture on the right hand side of the room so hop on up uh, and you want to climb on top and once you're up you look to your right and you'll see a gap in the railing jump on through this one and then to your right you want to have a quick wander up the stairs uh, and just in front of you you're going to find a key on the wall on the left hand side you want to grab this one you want to pull the planks off the door just here um, you don't need to go in there just yet but you'll be coming back there later and then you want to open the door to the right of that door by holding the lever you'll notice now that you're back actually in the area where we started make your way down the stairs and look to your right and you want to open up the double doors with the key that you just found once you're in the dining room take a left and go over to the other side of the room and you want to open up the door that's just here okay once you're in the next section we're going to want to make our way down the stairs and as you come down the stairs look to your right and you want to throw the switch that is just here put it all the way up once it's up you want to go past the uh, the gate and you want to keep making your way forward and then you want to take a left into the room with the flickering light and you're going to see more of these pink posters so again take note of the symbols that are on the poster because you'll need them to open up the door that's on your left so grab a photograph or write it down draw it do some artwork upload it to imager whatever um, and then you want to look to your left also and you're going to find the second one you only need three for this door so take note of the one that's on the, the wall here unfortunately the third one is actually trapped under some bricks on the floor so you can't look at it so make your way over to the, um, the system enter the two symbols that you know into the uh, into the machine and we have to play a bit of a guessing game for the the third symbol uh, sorry the second symbol so a bit of trying and error um, it'll tell you if you've got the wrong code but just keep rotating the middle one uh, until you actually get the thing that you're looking for for me it was kind of like the wine vase um, hip pouch thing uh, and the door opened up once it's open make your way through and make your way down to the end of the corridor and pull the other lever at the other end okay so in this next section we're gonna need to think fast um, as you turn to the left you'll see exactly the reason why um, we need to walk forward and we're going to trigger a bit of a running sequence. So the moment he comes at you, you turn around and you want to run back as far as you can and you want to take a left, have him follow you into the corner, take a right and run all the way to the end and you'll find the door. You want to hit the lever and hopefully you've got enough time to do it. Once it goes up, scoot on through to the other side and he is going to leave you alone. Now in this next section, we're actually going to find our next collectible. So make your way and you'll see this kind of green pillar in front of you. You want to drop down and underneath the stairs that you just came down, you want to just crouch under and you're going to find it directly in front of you. Okay, so from this collectible, we're going to make our way up. So exit out of this area climb up the stairs and at the top of the stairs you want to take a left and follow the walkway along now don't go into the room ahead but you want to take a left and then just on your right you want to jump to this wooden ledge just over here turn around and jump on top of the plank that is propped on the fence make your way up and then we're going to need to follow the wood and rafters all the way around jump across to the other side when you can take a right and crouch underneath the wooden beam and then you want to take a left and you want to go across uh, to the other side jump across look to your right and drop down don't go over the edge uh, and you want to make your way forward into the next room and you're going to see that it is a similar style puzzle uh, that you've been solving all along but with a different set of symbols this time you've probably seen these symbols painted all over the walls of this area there's a total of five that we've got to find memorize the top symbols and that will give us the bottom symbols that we're looking for so open up the door that's on your right hand side and we're going to make our way back into kind of one of the main areas. 
So from here, take a left and you will go upstairs and keep making your way up to the top. You'll recognize where you are now. And directly in front of you next to the door is the symbol of the eye thing that you're looking for. So grab a picture or memorize that in your, in your brain. And then from this one, we want to take a right and we're gonna go and enter the kids room, which is on the first door on the left here. And across the other side of the room, you'll see the next symbols that you need to remember. Now that you've got this one remembered, you want to exit out the room and you want to take a right and you want to go up the stairs. You want to take a right and we're going to go back into the room that we started in. Uh, and on the left hand side by the bookcase is the next set of symbols that you need to remember. Exit out of the room and make your way back down the stairs. And we're going to go back into the dining room area to so take a right. Go through the double doors. And then by the double doors just to the um, left of it, you're going to see the next symbol set that you need to remember. And then from here, we want to go back down into the doorway on our right, head down the stairs a little bit, and by this kind of partly lit area, your next symbol is going to be next to the, uh, the coat hangers. Once you've got all of those documented, we need to do a bit of a backtrack, so exit out of the dining room. Once you leave the dining room, we want to take a second right and make our way down the stairs. All the way at the bottom, go right through the gate, and then we're going to need to enter our matching symbols. Now the combination could be different for you, um, I don't know that for sure, um, but what I put into here may not be the same answer as yours, which is why I show you the location of all of the different um, symbols. Once they're all entered, you want to throw the switch on the other side of the gate and that's going to open up the big metal door for you. And we're going to keep going forward. So when that door's open, we want to walk onto the little bridge that's just in front of us and we want to take an immediate left and drop down. After you've dropped down, turn around 180 and we're going to make our way down the stairs. Uh, and as you come down the stairs, you're going to see this gap ahead of you. Run and jump into the gap. And then we want to take a right and we're going to drop down onto the floor below. We'll go through this door here and we're going to continue around until we find a lever. Now you'll notice that when you pick up a lever that you'll do the best impression of Gary the snail that you could ever do. You walk very slowly. So take the lever back into the room where we just dropped down. You'll notice the lights begin to flicker, which is an indication of something bad normally coming. Uh, and you'll be able to attach the lever to the door frame just here and then you would open up the door that's just in front of you. Okay so we want to make our way into the room once the door is open and you want to proceed around to the other side uh, and go around the pillar in the middle and then the door will be closed again. You'll want to pull the lever one more time but you'll notice that you'll now enter a, another sea of wine area. This is the second one in the game. You want to take it right, and we're going to need to be quick here because it's about to get fun. So just ahead of you, you're going to see a glowing switch on the floor. We're going to need to drop down and pick that one up. Remember to press B to drop it again afterwards if you're being chased. So once you've got the lever, we're going to start to want to make our way to the left hand side of this island. Um, as you get kind of closer, you're going to see these walls here and we're going to we're going to get tricked. He's going to come at you, press B to drop it and he's going to come running around the corner. Now make your way back across the far side of the island and that's going to give you some time. Wait for him to get very close to you and then we want to run back to the lever. So sprint on back. Uh, you'll see the lever because it glows through the wall still. You'll want to grab that one one more time and you want to keep making your way across to the far side of this island. Pay attention to the sounds because the louder the music is and the sounds, the closer he is to you. Press B to drop it and kind of repeat the same thing when he's close and run back to the other side of the island because it's going to buy you more time that way. 
Um, I generally tend to use this set of drawers as a reference. And then as he gets closer to you again, we want to run off into the distance one more time. So move on forward, grab the space that's on the other side, uh, and we want to keep going forward and you're going to see this kind of bridge piece that's in front of you. So get close to the bridge. If you need to run away again, do it. But then once you've got your distance, go back and get the lever one more time. Once you have that lever, walk forward and you want to be able to throw it onto the uh, switch system just in front of you. Um, you won't get time to do it again, so run away to the far side of the island uh, just to buy yourself some time. And then once you've done that, you want to run back to the bridge that you were just trying to pull the lever on. Once you've done that, pull the lever and the bridge is going to fall down and you want to cross over to the other side. Once you hit the other side, make your way around to the other side of the wall and you want to open up the drawer that's here and you want to grab the key. Now look back to the bridge and you probably see Mady Boy is going to be crossing over to come get you. Walk around and you want to go across the bridge uh, and as you're going across the bridge we're actually going to need to backtrack again. So as you walk forward you'll notice that your man has gone and teleported. He's going to come straight at you when he gets the opportunity. Run back, use the bridge to your advantage to buy yourself some more time. So run on all the way over. Uh, and once he's across, use the wall to separate you and him. Uh, play a bit of a Ring of Ring of the Roses kind of style game. And make your way back across the other side of the bridge. Now once you're on the other side, hang a left and kind of follow the walls around but keep turning left when you get the opportunity uh, and you're going to see some stairs in front of you make your way to the very top of those stairs and you're going to be able to use the key to open up the door that's in front walk into the room and go to the other side of the pillar and go around it and you'll notice you're back to where you are now for this next section um, for some reason I have to walk around a little bit for it to get it to work but the pillar behind you there's actually another door behind it it just hasn't appeared yet I don't know whether that's just to me to do not understanding where the trigger point is uh, but walking in and out of the room a couple of times and eventually the doorway will appear. Okay, so once that door's appeared for you, it takes a few seconds for me for some reason. I'm not entirely sure the reason why. Uh, just walk forward. You're going to get an achievement for completing the second sea of wine. Open the gate and you want to look to your right and we're going to grab our next cat collectible. So make your way down to the end of this hallway. Switch into camera mode. Go up to the rocks that are in front of you. and Look to the floor and you want to go down into the bottom right hand corner. That's going to cause the wall to disappear. Exit photo mode and grab your next cat collectible. This will also bag you the achievement for finding another cat collectible. Now from here we want to turn around and we're going to do a bit of a backtrack. So make your way up the stairs uh, just ahead of you. Go past the gate you came in uh, and you want to make your way down the stairs on the other side. You're going to see your power AR again. Um, read some of the newspapers and stuff dotted around and you'll learn a bit more about this kind of guy. Make your way down into the room and in the center you're going to see a very large plank. Walk up, it's another seesaw puzzle uh, and the objective here is to get that cart on top of this seesaw. So enter the, uh, sorry, enter the doorway where the cart is. Make your way down to the end and we're going to throw the switch on the cart. Run through the door behind the cart, take an immediate right and jump to the plank ahead. That's going to push it down when you walk to the other end. And once the cart arrives, it's going to block it from rising up any higher. Now from this plank, we're going to want to make our way across the other end. Um, it's going to be somewhat held in place by the, the, the cart. 
jump across to the other side uh, and then you want to enter this room don't drop down but look to your left walk along and then drop to the beam that is kind of angled below make your way up and then you want to enter the doorway just here and then you want to make your way up to the top of the stairs so once you're at the top of the stairs you want to look to your right and you want to throw the switch uh, and we're going to walk our way into like a kind of an apartment complex style building so step on forward um, now we're going to need to navigate this area and have a bit of fun with it it does get a little bit dark in here uh, but nonetheless anyway take a left and we want to go down the stairs we want to take a right and we're going to go through the door that is just directly ahead of us and then in here you want to make your way down the bottom of the stairs you want to go past the boxes pick them up and they'll just smash pretty much instantly anyway um, but as you come into this room you're going to see on your left hand side a flashlight on the floor you want to grab that one because it's going to come in handy you can turn that on with the right bumper or r1 and you want to make your way back up the stairs Now, once you're back in the apartment, you want to make your way up the first set of stairs and you want to take a left and then a right. This is kind of where we came in. Just to your right, there's a door here. You want to open that one up, press right bumper and you're going to go in. Now, the flashlight can actually overheat and run out, but just give it a few seconds and it will sort itself out and then you'll be able to turn it back on. Climb up the smashed wood in this area and enter this doorway here and you want to pick up the box that's on the floor. You want to then place that box down at the top of the smash kind of walkway and you're going to use that to jump up and land on the ledge that is just in front of you you want to make your way up the plank and you're going to go out of the door that is just ahead uh, unfortunately my flashlight runs out here but if you just wait a few seconds it will prompt that you can turn it back on uh, by saying the lantern is ready so once you've done that exit out the door now as you come out of this area we're going to need to go up so up one more flight using your flashlight along the way. At the top of this area, we want to go to the right and you're going to find a key hanging up on the wall. Grab yourself this one and we want to go back downstairs. Now re-enter the door that you kind of entered this floor in. It's going to be pitch black on the inside uh, and we want to just drop down to the level below. Take a right and we want to go into this room here and open up the door exit out and we want to make our way to the very end of this floor and we're going to open up the two locked doors in front of us uh, and we're going to be in this room just here light it up with your flashlight uh, and we're going to need to make our way across to the back right hand corner crouch down and go through the gap uh, and then we want to make our way across uh, this kind of car parking lot shed area and you're going to go into the door that is just ahead now turn on your flashlight and you want to make your way up the stairs. Uh, you need to go in and you need to check the doors. They're actually all locked and you can't progress any further forward. So exit out of this area and make your way down the stairs. Now this next part is actually probably one of the most trickiest parts of the game. Make sure your flashlight is fully charged when you do it because you're going to be solving a puzzle and being attacked at the same time because that's how this works. Um, so you'll walk forward and you're going to fall down a hole and your power is going to be there the last time you'll enter the room and you'll see this gap and you'll be able to use this gap to kind of get away from him you can't crouch down you need to take note of the symbols that you see in the room just here so I pause on the right hand side of this wall I've got a right angle with a kind of three four pronged kind of shape there's one with the moon and I don't know where in this area the third one is I don't think there is one so now I need to get out of the door by entering these kind of three pong things in to the, uh, the system behind us. They're actually upside down. So crouch through the hole and just where you landed there's this kind of puzzle. You need to enter the symbols but the fork like thing needs to be pointing the other way. Keep using the gap to escape the guy if he's coming towards you it will buy you a little bit more time. Duck back under uh, and then you want to do the same for the other one. It's the three four pronged fork upside down. Hide one more time, and then we have to guess the last one. 
for me it's actually all of the symbols are the same so I'm assuming that they were all just matching regardless um, but yeah um, I think they did that to kind of trick with us a little bit here um, but yeah it's the same symbol for the last one for me most probably for you uh, once you've got that in the switch is to the right but again you need to take cover because your friend is coming to see you uh, and as he comes your way you want to actually pop back out and you want to throw the switch that's going to open up the door the door takes too long so you've got to hide again to get away from the guy it's a very fiddly moment this uh, then crouch back under and then you want to make a bolt through the door that's just in front of you keep going forward and you want to open up each door but after you've opened each door keep running Now after you've opened up the door and you're finally outside, to your right you're going to see a bridge, you want to make your way across to that uh, and you want to try and use the switch that's at the end, but as you attempt to use it you're just going to get shocked. Um, so overusing it is just going to get you killed. So what you need to do now is sit tight and wait for your mate to show up. Um, you can keep trying the switch if you like, uh, but when he comes over he sends you on your way to the next chapter. Okay, so we are now in the chapter, the sommelier, which is a uh, posh word for wine waiter. Um, we're going to kick this level off, uh, and it's actually probably the hardest level for collectibles. It's the most fiddliest of the lot. Um, but we're going to be by this water. We're at the bottom of the bridge where we've just fallen down. So turn around uh, and take a good look through the gate, and you're going to see the guy that's hunting you. Make your way to the left of that gate, and as you come up to the edge of the water, look to your left jump to the wood that is by the column just here uh, and after you've hopped on over for that one look to your left again and walk up the plank to the other side look to your right and then you want to jump on over to the other side up there is one of our collectibles you'll see how difficult it is to get in a second follow the way around and follow the path forward and eventually you're going to come into this area which has got a lot of crates now if you did some exploring in the beginning you'll notice that this is actually the start of level one uh, but we need to pick up the crates and that kind of stuff and we need to identify the one that is um, not the consistency of water I can't believe they were shipping um, wine in barrels like this uh, but pick up the crates, drop them onto the floor and eventually we're going to find one that is incredibly sturdy in comparison to the others that is the one we're going to use to get our collectible so pick that one up and we're going to want to backtrack a little bit so make your way back through this area uh, and you want to go through the gate and you want to go outside and we're going to just place that into the corner over here. Uh, we need to grab another crate but that's not in this section. Uh, we'll go back and grab it in a moment. So make your way back to the water uh, and then we want to actually go through the gate that is just ahead of us. So open that one up and we want to walk forward and you'll want to take a right just here and you want to make your way to the end of the walkway you'll notice you're back at the beginning of the game and you'll actually find your boat is floating and you can't actually go home you'll bag yourself another achievement for returning to a familiar place now once you've done that backtrack to the place where we were testing the strength of the barrels and the crates As you enter this section, some crazy things are about to go down, uh, but take a 180 to your left and you want to enter this room here and follow it to the right and you're going to find a key hanging up here. Put that one in your pocket and we want to go back to the water. When you're back in the water section, we want to backtrack and we want to go to the left uh, and we're going to follow this way around and we take a right and go back outside. We now need to hop back over the ledges from where we came back in the beginning. So hop over to the other side, go down the plank. At the bottom of the plank you want to hop over to the ledge that is on the right of the column uh, and once you're on the other side make your way around 
you'll be able to open up the gate and directly in front of you is your next power box. Pick that up and we want to backtrack to where the, underneath the collectible is and where we left the last crate. So jump over the water, climb up the plank and then jump to the right. And once you are in the corner here, we want to drop our box on top of the other one. And we want to hop on top of the boxes, look to the right and you'll see kind of like these fern style plants. Uh, you want to hop on up here and directly on the end is your next collectible. Pick this one up and you'll bag yourself in another achievement or trophy. And then you want to backtrack to the very start of the level again. Once you're in this section, we want to go up the right hand set of stairs. Try not to shit yourself on the way. Uh, and the train is going to go past you. You're going to turn around and go back down the stairs because you're going to be pursued by a friend again. Take a left at the bottom of the stairs and go through the left section. Uh, and then you're going to get pounced on again. Turn around and run back again. And then go back up the right hand side of the stairs. Uh, and when you're at the top of these stairs, you want to pop the planks off the door that are directly in front of you. And then you want to exit out of this building just here and go into the second right. Drop down into the pipe and crouch down and crawl through so the monster can't get you. You'll now be by a big open area which is next to a river. And we are now going to put your platform abilities to the test. Make your way over to the left hand side of the river and you're going to see a waterfall. Using the plank that's in front of you, you want to directly hop over uh, and then jump to the next little island. And then to the left of that, there's another island you want to hop to. And then from that island, look to your right and you want to jump across the other side. If you fall in, you just respawn back from where you last jumped. Make your way up to the top of the stairs. And as you come up to the top, you want to actually throw a switch just here. And that's going to open up the gate to your right. Um, I kind of let go here. Uh, and then you actually want to duck underneath once that gate is open and go to your left here. Uh, you'll see a locked door. There's actually one of those uh, puzzle mechanisms here, um, but for some reason it doesn't open up. Um, I wasn't able to find all of the clues for it. I don't think it actually is possible to. Um, but make your way across to the other side of the bridge. Uh, you want to kind of keep pushing forward through this area. Uh, and as you kind of come to the end, you'll kind of see uh, next to these symbols, a key hanging up on the wall. Pick that up, you want to backtrack and you want to make your way to the very end next to the lock that I do not know how to open. Uh, and as you reach this end just here, you want to take a right and we're going to open up the locked door. And then you're going to attempt to open up the blocked door, that's not going to be possible. Make your way back out to the bridge and you want to run to the other side. If you haven't already cleared the boxes out of the way because it's going to help you in a second. And as you kind of come back to where you picked up the key, surprise, um, you need to turn around, you need to run back, you'll see the two of them. Look to your right and you'll be able to run and jump across to back where you entered this particular area. And once you've done that, you want to hop back over the river again. Okay, so once you're at the top and you've gone through that gate again, the door is going to be open. So make your way in and take a right. You just want to follow this pathway forward. At the end, go up the stairs to the right, drop down through the gap, and then you want to cross over to the other side of the room. Um, you want to go through the left hand side. I get stuck on something here. Um, make your way up. You'll then want to open the door that's in front of you. Go through to the right and follow the wall around and then you want to drop down the next hole, open the door in front of you uh, and you want to drop down the hole next to the guy that is strung up on the wall, crouch and then you want to push through the kind of floorboard area, uh, you want to take a left uh, and then you want to go through the crawl space just here, you want to follow this all the way until you come back out again. 
Uh, and at this bit you want to take a right and you want to go up and then you want to crouch through the gap just here and then you want to make your way to the left uh, and something funky is going to happen you'll see a cat uh, apparently they're extinct in this take a right and you want to actually drop out of the hole in the wall uh, and then make your way up to the far corner and you want to go into this area you're going to see a set of stairs um, go up the stairs and then you want to turn around and you actually want to go back down the stairs and we want to drop through the hole in the floor. Now this next section is very hard to see and it's slightly confusing but when you're in this snowy area you want to find the hole in the wall that has the largest gap and when you do that you want to go out of this one uh, and I use this one to orientate myself there might be other ways of doing it um, but you want to take a left and follow a left around and you want to make your way forward and eventually you'll see a grate and you'll see the headless guy on the other side take a left and then take a right walk straight forward and you're going to see the mechanism on the wall look to your right walk forward take a left uh, and eventually you're going to come to this area with a lot of beams you want to follow these beams um, to the left ever so slightly and you'll find a set of stairs make your way up these stairs and go all the way up to the top uh, and once you're at the top there will be a crawl space that you'll be able to squeeze into and you want to go through and out the other side now I didn't get the chance to actually solve the puzzle in there I don't know if you can um, but I tried a lot and I was not able to kind of do it anyway once you're out of that area we want to make our way downstairs as far as possible uh, and go through the open door at the end you'll get your achievement for completing the third sea of wines area now we're going to move on to our next collectible So from this section you want to exit out and you want to drop down to the floor below. Once you've done that we're going to make our way past the cart, ignoring it for now. We don't want to use it just yet and past this little blockade. Uh, and as you come up to the bridge we're going to actually want to look to our right. You'll see some stairs just beneath you. Hop on over the actual uh, railing and then you want to crouch under. And you're going to want to follow this path all the way to the very end for your next collectible. Once you have that, you're going to want to backtrack all the way to the stairs that you just came down. And once you're there you want to go up the stairs and as you go up the stairs look to your bridge and you want to hop on over to the other side uh, and now we're going to start playing around with the cart and get our next collectible as well so just in front of the cart there is a barrier you want to hold the switch and that's going to cause that to fall down turn around and you want to hit the switch on the second one and that's going to lower this barrier make your way back to the cart and you want to throw the switch on the cart and that is going to move the cart to the other side. Now we're going to need to use barrels or boxes as a way to kind of climb up and get the next collectible. Um, just find a barrel. They're partially strong, partially not strong. strong. Um, but you want to drop it down kind of where this uh, second barrier is. And we want to pull the lever and we're going to bring up that second barrier again. Now we're going to want to run down to where the cart is kind of going. Eventually it's going to hit a dead end and stop, but we're going to send it back this time as we're going to use it as a stepping stone to get to our collectible. So once that's parked up, 
throw the switch and it's going to put it in reverse. You want to jog back and you want to grab hold of that barrel. Now I will warn you that this collectible is incredibly difficult to get. Um, and if the barrels will break in this section, you'll need to quit out and go back to the chapter select screen. There might be a stronger container nearby, but I think I've missed it. Um, but if you run out of barrels, quit out to the main menu. You can chapter, uh, sorry, hit, hit the continue button and you'll spawn into this area. So using the railing, you want to jump on top of it and then you want to hop up onto the cart with the stones on it. Look to your left and you want to run and jump across to the wooden ledge just ahead. And then you want to carefully place the barrel and wedge it in the corner between, uh, like uh, at a small angle. Jump on top of the barrel and look to the right and you want to do a run and jump across to the ledge that's just ahead of you. And then hop onto the fence that is on the right hand side of it. Look towards your collectible and do a running jump to the other side. I just about make it. Uh, and grab that one off of the ledge just here. Once you've done that, you want to drop down to the cart below and you want to throw the switch on it again to send it back to the other side. Now once you've thrown that switch, you want to just jog on down to the next barrier. Um, that barrier has no switch, so you can't lower it at this current moment in time, but we're going to fix that. So head to your left and you want to drop down to the water's edge, just here, by that barrier, and follow the edge all the way along, and then until the section here, you're going to need to hop up. You want to make your way across here and you want to crouch down underneath this part and you want to walk forward um, until you come out of the crawl space. Once you're at the other side, you want to take the stairs left and you want to go all the way up and you want to throw the switch that's just here. Once that door opens up, take a right and drop down and we're going to go straight to the left, 180, and we'll cross the bridge ahead of us. Now things are going to get a bit hectic because you're going to get shot at. So use things like the wood, the barriers, the fences to take cover, crouch down where you need to. Two shots will kill you. Uh, you can take one, just give a minute though to your health to recharge. So run between the different covers once you get shot take cover wait for the screen to stop flashing red and then run forward to the next one take cover again and then the next one is on your right hand side once your health is recovered and then your actual next piece of cover is to your left uh, and then you want to run forward and ar is going to stop shooting at you once you're in the section, look to your left, and then you want to take a right, and we're going to take a right again, and we're going to go up the slope bit just here, to the right one more time, and you want to climb on top of the bridge that you've just run across. Once you've done that, sprint to the very end. Now once you're here, you want to cross over the wooden walkways, take a left, and then you want to take a right, and you want to take a right again and then take a left and you want to drop down on the gap on the right and then to the left one more time and then you want to drop into the pipe. Crouch down once you're in and make your way to the end. Okay so once you're in this area you want to cross through the zone with fires. Uh, be careful the fire can actually kill you uh, but just keep walking forward. It's a straight path uh, and as you kind of get to this end section um, you'll be by some stairs. You want to go up those stairs. And as you're coming up these stairs, you're going to see that there is a uh, set of planks to your left that you can pop them off. But there's also a door on your right. Uh, open up the door. Uh, it's not necessary, but if you fall down or have a problem, it makes you easier access back to the top. So pull the lever here, uh, just as a safety net. Otherwise, you're going to have to walk back the whole way. Turn around, you want to make your way up those stairs, take a right, keep going more stairs up, and on the ledge just here, you're going to find your friend the lever again. Pick that one up and you want to drop on down. Uh, and once you've dropped down, you want to walk forward to the 
blockade where the cart is use the switch and then you want to throw the switch and then you want to throw the lever that is on the cart um, and you want to throw that down now we're gonna need to run because we need to get ahead of the cart so run to the end of the bridge in the direction it's going at the end you're gonna see a set of wooden stairs you want to make your way to the top of those wooden stairs uh, and as the cart comes by you will want to jump on top of it if you fall off you've got to send the cart back to the previous blockade and then send it forward again and repeat the same thing so be careful here I actually nearly fall off myself I'm a bit klutzy at this point for some reason but once that's done you want to hop over the wooden fence that is at the end and you just want to run straight as possible and that is going to finish this chapter Okay, so the next level is pretty damn chaotic. Uh, this is chapter four, it is the cellar. Um, it is the most action-packed one out of the lot. So we wanna start this one off by looking to your right and you're gonna see a drawer. Open that up and you're gonna find the key to the door just inside that one, so grab it. Make your way over to the door. Um, you can read the article on the wall as well, um, but make your way out. And you're going to take a left and you want to go up the rocks that are just here and up the stairs at the top of the stairs we want to take a right uh, and we're gonna follow this section around it's quite a bit of a big area um, but make your way up the small set of stairs keep staying to the right uh, and you want to go along by the little wall here take a left and you're going to duck in underneath the archways run forward as far as you can take a right and then a left run further forward until you reach a, another wooden wall whilst continuing around the right hand side of the building and as you come up on the wooden part just here take a look at it and you want to break out into camera mode move forward and that is going to remove the wall from you exit the photo mode make your way around behind the back of the barrels go to pick up the collectible put a get barrel instead um, yeah I kind of messed this up a little bit but knock the barrel out of the way grab yourself a photo uh, and you have bagged yourself your next cat photo achievement now backtrack to the big area where we just kind of came up from now you're in the section you want to take a right uh, and you're going to see this very large corridor that's in front of you as you move in two sets of um, bits of metal going to pop up throw the switch on the left and then you want to throw the switch on the right that's going to lower the fences and once you're in here you want to make your way directly down to the very end uh, of this section you're going to see a closed gate you want to pop the wood off and you want to open that gate up once you've done that we're going to go make our way through the wine racks that we've got here uh, and as you're coming into this section you want to stay on the right hand side you want to use either the box or the barrel you're going to hop up onto the stone ledge on your right hand side once you've done that hop on top of the wine rack and make your way down at the edge of these wine racks hop up onto the one on site on your right uh, and then you're going to jump on top of the high one on your left and that is going to be your last collectible of the game bagging you your final cat photo orientated achievement from here drop down and you want to look to your right and you're gonna see the dude with the gun, AR. Uh, he's not gonna shoot you though. You can make your way forward, but what's gonna happen is some metal bars are gonna pop up in front of you, stopping you from getting to him. Make your way around to the back and you actually wanna drop down into the hole just here. Crouch under and follow the path forward and climb out when you can. Once you're out of the stairs, take a right and you wanna follow the corridor around. 
Uh, you want to kind of go through this area and keep going right until you can kind of exit out into the section again. But dude in the middle is now going to start shooting at you. So duck down and take cover. Remember, two shots will kill you. Uh, and you want to hide behind this wall. Once the damage is worn off, you're going to want to run forward towards the fence. You'll see a lever just here. Crouch down and then you want to pull the lever uh, and you want to send that one upwards. Once you've done that, we want to turn around 180 and you want to go through the door on the right. Remember, just try not to get shot. I mean, it's a pretty damn good shot. Take a right and as you come in, you want to go down. Make your way around the other side of this grated section. Uh, and you want to take a uh, the set of stairs that's just directly ahead. It's the same scenario again. Once you head back outside, he's going to start popping shots at you. So crouch down behind the wall. Uh, and you want to make your way over to the fence and you want to pull the lever that is on the fence just there. He actually misses me this time. So pull it and now we're going to need to backtrack. So turn around 180 and you want to go through the door on the left. Uh, and things are about to get serious. So come into this area and you want to drop down into the hole that's ahead of you. So this next section is completely non-stop. The moment you drop in, you want to hit the lever on the right and you immediately need to back up because your headless friend is going to come charging at you. So hit the switch, step way back. He's going to come through. Now this section took me several tries to do. Use the pillars to avoid him and go through the door on the other end. Run forward, take a right and then a left and then go through the door. Take a left here and you want to drop down. Walk to the corner but immediately back up because he's respawned at this point and you want to follow this section around until you finally have the opportunity to turn to the right. Once you have that opportunity, you'll see it just here, take a left and you want to follow this into a big room. Make your way to the end of that room where you see the flashing light, there is a switch, you want to pull that and drop into the next area to your right which is another Red Sea room. You need to cross the planks on the left hand side. Drop down and you want to go to the left. Now at this next section, you're going to get chased by the headless guy again, but go to the left and you should just be able to avoid him. Run up this section and AR is going to start taking pot shots at you, but duck behind the cover and it's pretty hard for him to land a shot. You're still being chased by the headless guy at this time. Once you've done that, you want to make your way up to the very top of this section. Uh, and you want to drop down into the hole and you're going to be pursued again by the headless guy or solving a puzzle. In this part, you want to make your way to the right um, and you want to drop into the room. We need to find a key. So the key is hidden in the drawer by the cracked wall. So keep making your way around and play a bit of a game of kiss chase. Um, drop down, open up the drawer here and then you see the key. But if he gets too close, you need to run. Drop down when you can, grab that key, uh, and then you want to go back up through the hole in the wall or cross over to the other side, uh, and, but you want to use the key in the door in the top left corner. Head down the stairs and you're going to see a flashlight on the table just ahead of you. Now in this next section there is a clue to opening the door, so I walk past it very quickly but it's another one of those symbol puzzles. As you're going up the stairs, look to your left, you'll see a circle with an upside down U, take note of that. After you exit the room, you want to make your way across the other side, use the flashlight and make your way up to the top of the stairs. At the top of the stairs, you'll see the Omega symbol and to your left, you'll see the triangle symbol. Take note of those because you're going to also need those to unlock the door downstairs. Now use the stairs to actually buy yourself some time from your headless friend. Uh, you want to drop down and then you're going to want to make your way through the door, which is next to the broken wall. You'll see your next set of symbols on the wall that you need to remember. As you walk back into this section, look at the main door opposite you. You'll see another symbol, the circle on the cross uh, above the T. You'll need to take note of that one. Uh, and then you'll also need to keep running away from your pal at the same time. Next up, we need to go back into the area that is dark. We want to take a left and we want to go through the door just here. And we're going to find a, another lever here. And it's another case of doing an impression of a snail. Uh, make your way to the edge and then you want to drop down behind you. You'll be back in the flashlight room and you want to attempt to make your way at, to the top of the stairs. Now naturally this is very tricky when you're um, pretty much doing a slug impression. Um, you'll need to drop the handle from time to time so that you can escape from your headless friend. 
but use the stairs in this particular section in the other section to buy yourself some time just to move them out of the main room if you need it so grab the switch one more time make your way up to the top of the stairs and oh, we're going to need to take it to the right by the sets of broken wall uh, and by the symbols you'll want to attach it just here unfortunately it gets just a bit too close for comfort for me so i have to run off i run up into the dark and i go up a few floors just to escape from him uh, as he gets up and gets as close as possible i drop down just to buy some more time okay so once you've dropped back down grab the switch and you want to throw it onto the wall and you want to throw the lever and that's going to open it up uh, unfortunately by the time the door opens your mate has come to see you again uh, and you want to run back upstairs to buy yourself some more time like i said i could probably done this better but i was panicking because yeah he wouldn't get out of my face um, so head up the stairs, drop back down, and we want to go over to the metal door that we just opened. Okay, so once you drop down, make your way through the door that you've just opened up. Uh, and my symbols were, so for the one with the circle with the dot in the middle, was an upside down U with an extra line in the middle. The triangle was a fish hook style thing. Uh, now I get tacked once more. Uh, but this time I want to make my way to back to the top right hand corner. Uh, go through the dark and we're going to go up the stairs now instead of dropping down through the hole in the floor take a right and follow it around underneath the boxes that are covered in um, white cloth and you'll find another thing that you can interact with for me this was a another t-shape underneath the circle with a line through it run away from your man uh, and we're going to now try and um, unlock the one that is by the front door um, so it requires us to uh, juggle a little bit with the guy that is gonna come down from the stairs I recommend leaving him down into the the basement section just to buy yourself a bit more time so head on down once you've done that you want to run on back up and as we come in by the door we're gonna see the mega symbol uh, and this was another T sign for me and then we're going to need to head back down into the lantern room to do this one more time. So make your way up the uh, down into the uh, the lantern room, and just underneath the stairs to your right, we're going to see a, another system that you need to interact with. Uh, and underneath the key symbol, I believe I had a, another fish hook. Once you've done that, you want to run away from the guy. He almost gets me at this point in time, but make your way upstairs. And we can now finally pull the lever by the door for the exit so throw that switch uh, but as again as always is a slow opening door so utilize the stairs within the area to escape from him one more time um, you'll be done with this mad rushing soon drop down and then you want to go through the door and you want to continue straight forward and you want to keep on running and you're going to fall now you're back in a room that looks familiar to you it is complete chaos again However, actually you don't need to find a symbol for this one, you just need to time it right. So use the gap in the crumbled wall, which is next to the door, to avoid the guy. Throw the lever. When he comes towards you, duck back under, uh, and he'll come back around because he won't crouch. Uh, and as he comes towards you, duck back under one more time. The door should be open now. Go through here and run towards the end. And then as you come out, you want to take a right and you want to go up. You want to go up the stairs. It looked like a familiar area you've been here once before uh, and as you come up you will get the achievement for beating the challenge which was that crazy stint of stuff we're nearly done now so once you've done that you'll now start making your way back up the main stairs and go through the big gate again and follow this large tunnel down to the very end to where the guy was taking shots at you earlier Once you've done that, you want to go through the wine racks and keep pushing forward. Uh, and you'll see as you come in, it starts kind of raining here. It's pretty interesting. Uh, and just ahead of you, you'll see a chair with a wine bottle in front of you. Make that, make your way over to that one, pick up the bottle, and you will be done with the cellar level.
so we are now in the chapter called the hangover or the epilogue which is actually the final part of the game um, it's just a small one it's not a long particular section however if you go through and read some of the documents and the information on some of the stones here it kind of explains to you a bit more about the story but i won't spoil too much for you i'll let you find that out um, so you want to cross over the bridge when you're on the other side of the bridge you just want to climb all the way to the very top of the mountain Once you've done that, go past the big stone and take a right at it and you're going to see kind of like an angel statue just ahead of you. Make your way down there and you'll want to drop off the um, uh, a letter and that's going to finish the game. I've been Jastigate from the Achievement Squad. If you've enjoyed this guide, drop us a like, comment, subscribe and happy hunting. <laughs>